Right, with the new, um, with Excel's new 365 commands, filter, sort, and unique, you've got great opportunities to manipulate data. And what I wanted is the ability that I can pick and choose which column that I would like to sort the view data on, and even have the ability via dropdown to change the order that I view the data. Now, obviously, for a small amount of data, that seems pretty impractical, but if you've got thousands of rows and multiple columns, having the ability to be able to pick and choose which column you'd like to sort the data and what order you would like to see it can become really handy at the click of a button. Right, the first thing I've done is make a small data set for the purpose of the video, and obviously the first one will be, I just want to be able to pick, call it a product code. Show me everything that's under ID code 95, or ID 96, or ID 97. Well, that's achieved by using the little helper columns over here. I've just used the Excel unique command that says, show me everything unique between B3 and B19. Because it's a spill command that will grow or shrink as and when used. And then quite simply, we then go and use, uh, for those that haven't done it, you go to your um, data validation tab. And because it's a spill command, we can just say, take whatever's from N6 being the first cell and add the hash command. So it doesn't matter how long that list becomes or how that list shrinks, it will adapt to it because it's using spill. So there we go. That's as simple as it is to make a drop down to obviously be able to filter your data. But it wasn't the filtering that I was interested in. It's the sorting. So now that I've filtered the data, what about having the ability to sort? Well, obviously we then wrap the filter within a sort. And quite simply, we just put in numbers because the default is normally one. I think it's one and then false, um, which we're not going to cover in this video. So using a helper column, it is actually using the two numbers there that I'm creating to help me decide what to sort on date and what date order I would like to see. So the first one's quite simple. That just says match. And it says, what have you selected in G6? Well, I've selected date. OK, we'll go along from I2 to L2 and find how far along date is. And that will give us the number two. So that will always, always give you the number of where it finds in an array. An array can be vertical or horizontal. So as you can see, if I choose quantity, that will change to a four. If I choose uh, note, it will change to a three. And then we're going to use that number. The last one I did was A to Z, and I've just simply used the if S command. If somebody selects um, A to Z or Z to A, we either put in a one or a minus one. So all we're doing there is toggling between one and minus one. And if you quickly want to go there and see, it was just a simple thing of, of putting in two options, A to Z, comma Z to A. So we're just giving the uh, user the ability to select one or the other and then use an FS to say, well, if it's that, make it a one. If it's that, make it a minus one. Um, and there we go. So you've now got the ability to sort uh, the data um, pick the order nicely from a drop down and then toggle once you're happy with the way you're viewing the data you can then toggle, toggle through your data set and it literally is as simple as that so there if you want to pause the video is how we uh, get the um, the names for the first drop down there's the z to a options and there's the little um, spill command for the unique list so all three of those are done there in the little helper and there's the actual use of sort and filter to give us this nice little ability to change how we'd like to view the data. Hope you found that helpful.